now that it's on the news, the people there are going to read it too. So. Well, and that's the difficulty that they're having there. Now, they've been on conference calls talking to them saying, I thought this guy was, you know, I thought we were, he's on board. And so they're, that, frankly, that's why we're, we went through this trouble today to meet with you today to just kind of, so we could give them a feel for, for yeah, how well, things are and yeah. where, we're, where, we, where we stand and what we can tell them where we stand. And this was just, uh, you know. Yeah, well, I mean, I know it's going to be hard for anybody to ex accept, but especially them, I would imagine that uh, that didn't really have anything to do with our arrangement. And about From my perspective, yeah. so okay, but I mean, I don't think it's something that they can't work past. They they've worked through some pretty miracle stuff right now, so I think this is something they can probably they just they want some assurance that uh, we yeah, can, we're going to be able to go back down that same road that we were on. And I, we, okay, we've made a major me. turn. <laughs> I don't imagine this will stay strictly between you and me and people in this room, but you, I believe the people in this room know me well enough now to know that um, that when I say what happened yesterday has nothing to do with our arrangement, it, like I say, it's not some part of some grand scheme. Um, I already know how this all ends for me. So, well, but, I mean, it, it's good. I think that we if we can hear that from you. That that's this. Yeah, that was an opportunity that, that that happened there, and right, that's what it was. Some of the things that they're concerned about, and that they're getting questioned about by, like Vermont, for example, because, uh, like Jeff said, we know that they had a long conference call with Vermont today, trying to explain what happened and answer questions of you know Vermont. We saw a draft version of the letter, and uh, it was everything you asked for. I mean, okay. it truly was. And uh, I think they're trying to answer some pretty tough questions from Vermont right now about basically what the fuck. Right, but I mean, still, even still, from their perspective, um, I, I they. <laughs> I mean, come on, let's face it. Yeah, what happened yesterday? Ooh, I'm a bad guy. I tried to escape, but um, let's be honest. Nobody really thought I was a good guy before that, so... <laughs> <laughs> it's not like me escaping suddenly makes me untrustworthy. I was kind of untrustworthy before that, so... <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, you, you, at least you have the, the perspective of... I mean, you have an unrealistic perspective of <laughs> what... Yeah, I'm not, um, and obviously, <laughs> I think you probably especially know that I'm not going to get another opportunity like that, at least not within my lifetime, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know, I don't know what to tell them, you know, all I can say is that, um, I mean, nothing's changed as far as uh, my day to day, my reality, you know, it's still still the same. You still envision a way where we can get to meet meet both of our goals, where we can get what we I want think, out of this. I think so, but um, like I say, after after yesterday, I had some frustrations of my own. So uh, so that was kind of the catalyst that you know. So what you're saying is there, there's a couple things you need cleared up from them. I do, yeah, and I need, I mean, and honestly, like we've talked about before, like all this other stuff, this like little bargaining chips, whatever you want to call it, you know, that's, that is all one thing, but, but you know, everybody knows what uh, my bottom line concern is in all this, that I, you know, that I wanted this all wrapped up as quickly as possible, and... Uh, and like I say, I was in open court yesterday, and it's obviously not happening that way. So, uh, so that's you know, and I'm and I'm. It's not that, uh, like I say, it's not that I'm uh, pointing the finger, or placing blame on anyone. I haven't even had an explanation of why things are the way they are. So, how do I know whose fault it is, or if it's anyone's fault? I don't even know that. So, but um, but that doesn't mean it doesn't didn't you know kind of. You know, because I, I remember, I, I remember all the interviews we've had. I remember what was said mm -hmm. you know, since day one, and, and and my perspective hasn't changed on any of that. Yeah, granted, we've talked about a lot more things since then, but.
those are all things that I already had in my head before. Just because they're out on the table now, that doesn't change anything of what I wanted originally, what I, what we talked about originally. It's all it's all still the same issue. So um, anyway, that's okay. It's all good. So all that being said, where can we go from here? Um, I honestly, I don't know. I don't know that uh, we can go anywhere until I get some straight answers on, you know, what I, what I was just talking about. Because uh, because really that that is that has been my my bottom line all all along, and uh, and you know I won't be a bit surprised. I think I know what's going on, but I need confirmation. Uh, before I decide to take the next step or steps, whatever it takes to... And, uh, and I don't know specifically what you're talking about, but I mean, it's very possible that that, that it's something, whatever your questions are, that they, they may not be able to answer them for... because. Right, for other reasons. Yeah. No, I understand that. I mean, I, I know there's... Regardless of how unusual this situation is, that doesn't mean we can make it even more unusual, so... I mean, they're... I know they still have guidelines and rules and they have to follow and you know I'm not expecting all they, the answers. They just, nobody, just want, nobody wants to cross a line that we've been told by a judge can't be crossed. And right. They, they can't do that. Nobody can. And so... Yeah. No, I... Yeah, I know. I mean, I, all I can tell you is you're going to have to use your judgment on the information that you're getting and see if you can deal no, that's, from it. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do, but... Um, But it's uh, <laughs> it's not an easy thing when you get everything through a, a middleman, as it were. So, um, like I say, I don't know who to put the blame on right now. I'm pretty sure I know, but you know, it's I I was trying really hard to work with everybody on this, keep everybody happy. But as we all know, that doesn't always happen. So, and I don't. You know, I don't want this to turn into any more... My whole concern with... in all of this, and I know what's going to happen. If I have to do it, I will. But, you know, if I if I have to take the next step and just freaking... You know, it's going to turn into even more of a three-ring circus and more... That, that nobody and, wants. Right, and nobody wants that. And I don't think they want that. So I that's why I thought it was in everyone's best interest that, you know, that we could all have a meeting, you know, like... At all parties involved could once again sit down and have a meeting just like in the beginning like when there was no question about the legality or whether this was proper or improper you know what it was all there was nothing weird or unusual about that it was a standard interview and there was no objections or court orders or paperwork or petitions you know all this stuff that's happened since then it seems like it's done nothing it hasn't changed anything I still come over here and talk to you about stuff it hasn't changed any of that. It hasn't changed my bottom line at all. All it's done is made everything more complicated for everyone else involved. And the and, 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 and at the bottom of that, I still I don't get a straight answer on anything. Well, I mean, maybe I have been. I hope I have been at least on a few things, but definitely not on everything. Because I'm not there. I don't know. I don't see all the emails. I don't see all the paperwork. I don't see what's. I don't hear what's said. You know. And uh, it's not even that I want to hear or know all that stuff, but I at least like to hear and know about the stuff that pertains to me <laughs> and what my interest in it is. So, I think one of their uh, concerns, and and I think we all share it, is that yesterday's actions, regardless of why you took them, uh, are just going to create new hurdles for them from yeah. the standpoint of... I mean, literally, they had something... I, I really think it was just about agreed to. Uh, it may have even been agreed to, and I just don't know it. But, like I said, uh, we saw a draft version of a letter that had, I think, everything that you discussed or wanted in uh -huh. it. So they had achieved that. Um, and then that stunt yesterday has now endangered that. Uh, in addition, you know, they're, I think they're concerned now that 
maybe you have a different agenda than what you've told us because you were very specific. You know, I don't want any media attention. Uh, this has created a bit of a frenzy. I got to believe that your next court appearance is going to be standing There's going to be only. There's uh, probably going to be a lot of vigilantes guarding the door on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid there's going to be, you know, there's only if, there was only a couple meeting people there yesterday. I'm afraid to, tomorrow's just going to have some, yeah, a, a fair amount more media people, unfortunately. And then, arguably, one of the probably biggest potential hurdles now is, you know, we know you've indicated that you want to represent yourself on the things for which you're not charged, um, and this could be a huge hurdle now that didn't previously exist, right? No, I, I get that, yeah. These are all things that all of us are thinking about, but to be honest, they're probably more focused on it than the rest of us. And you may not have thought about those things, but that's what they're mulling over. Right. No, I, I get that. I get what you're saying. And honestly, I really hadn't thought of it at all until you mentioned it. I, um, I, was, I was concerned about the media coverage, not really thinking about the effect it would have on the things we've discussed, thinking more about, you know, that is my bottom line. I didn't want a bunch of press and mm -hmm. didn't want a bunch of drama. And uh, honestly, I could have lived with the drama as long as I had been successful in escaping. But uh, <laughs> since I didn't, now I'm like, man, I really wish I hadn't created all this drama. <laughs>